Yeah, I think I think I, I'm comparing it to year uh, past years. Um, I really think, especially last year, um, that fall where we didn't have really have that much time to build chemistry. Um, and I think this this fall we really took that to heart. Um, I think our whole team is just really coming together. I think um, we're not there yet. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, but I think this group gets along together a lot, and and we're very competitive. And and one thing that I think we're taking to heart this year is that. We get on the field. Um, there'll be fights. There'll be there'll be a lot of competitiveness. But but when we get that when we get back to the locker room, it's everything's squashed. Everything is is done. Um, and, and I think that's an important part of the team where we we're on the field. We try to get everyone better. Um, but then at the end of the day, we're best friends. Um, we have one goal, um, and it's pretty known. Um, we don't really talk about it much, but I think that's the culture here at UVA now where. Goal is to win a national championship every year, and I think we're all we all have that mindset, even though we don't say it much. What's the key to avoiding kind of the slow start that y'all had last year in ACC play? Yeah, I think I think one thing is is just scrimmaging. I think we, we did a, a good job this whole fall and and, and this preseason of of, of of scrimmaging top talent around the country, and I think in general, I think we're we're, we're starting to. We're starting to come together, and, and, and that slow start comes from inexperience, comes from lack of chemistry, and, and I think that fall had a lot to do with it last year um, with that slow start. But I think this year, obviously, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. Um, we've had two good scrimmages um, against uh, Penn State and Navy um, and Lynchburg, and, and I think we're in a good spot. But um, obviously, there's a lot of more work to be done, but I'm just happy to be in this position with a full fall. Um, scrimmages and, and everything. So and you mentioned chemistry. How big a difference is it for you guys in the attack, especially with you and Connor kind of figuring out that? Because last year was a little new for y'all. Yeah, I think I had a little flashback to, to 2019 and that fall that I went through, Ian Kraus, um, where it was kind of forced upon us to to, to get better and, and to get to know our spots, get to know how to play with each other in general. Um, and I think it's really important. I think. Um, with me, Connor, and, and and Cormier, I think we're doing a good job of, of, of finding each other in, in certain spots. And I think one thing we're, we're really getting used to now is, is our ride. And I think um, with missing Ian um, this year, I think that's a big difference. I mean, he was our jitterbug. He was our kind of motor in that ride. Um, so right now, I think that's one key thing we have to work on is what spots do we like on a ride? Um, what are we all going to hustle? And I think that's that's a big thing that we're preaching this year is that the ride's not going to work if we're not given 110%. And I know it's hard when you go through a 80-second possession, um, dodging, cutting, and you got to ride the ball back. So I think that's something we're getting used to. And um, these two scrimmages, I think we did a lot better in the Navy game and the Lynchburg game in, ride, in our ride um, than that Lynchburg game. So, or in the, uh, the Penn State game. So I think we're, we are improving. Um, but but today's practice is all about clearing and riding. So um, you'll kind of see it firsthand that it's something we care about, and that's usually our Wednesday schedule. Sorry, one last one for me about Connor. What's it like watching him in the offseason? Because Lars says, you know, he's asked him to, you know, maybe cool it down a little bit mm -hmm. in the offseason sometimes. So what's that like just seeing that in a teammate? Yeah, I mean, it just shows you care. And I think um, you just know in the back of your head that he's doing everything he can to, to be better. Um, I think that really motivates everyone else. Um, and and it, 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 you don't have to see it. And I think um, when you when you just know that that's the kind of culture you want in a team, um, where I know Grayson Saladay's working hard at home in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, um, and I, you just know in the back of your head, you don't have to check in. You know he's doing his work. Uh, maybe send a couple pictures back and forth, but at the end of the day, you know. Um, and I think that's the culture that we we, we build at UVA, and we want to keep it here. So, what's it going to mean for you to see another banner going up on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I just found out about this. I, I kind of forgot about the the 2019 one. Um, but yeah, I mean, every time we walk past that 2019 one, I get some get some chills. So it's definitely going to be, or maybe get double chills now <laughs> walking past two. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Lars said that this year he's trying to treat it a little bit differently than after the 2019 season. A little bit more of like appreciating what happened last year, a little more joy around it. What is it like player-wise going into a season as the two-time defending? I don't like defending, yeah. but reigning, if mm -hmm. you will. Um, and does that add pressure, or are you just kind of like, hey, let's just forget it and go get another one? Yeah, I think, I think in that 20, after the 2019 win, I think it was, there were nerves. I, I could sense it, and I think this year it's, it's different with the, because we had that year break. We did have a year um, to kind of regroup. Obviously, the season got canceled, so that was tough to, to kind of see. But I think this year it, it's different because we had that full fall, and and we had a lot of scrimmages. So. 
I would say if we didn't have that many scrimmages, we'd, we'd start looking ahead. And I think that we had competition in that fall um, that really helped us just get over that hump. I feel like we've already played a season um, in the fall um, and, and here in the, in the beginning of the, the spring. But I think it's, it's definitely interesting to see the difference in years. But I really think this year it's just we have a lot of experience. And I think it, the younger guys, I think they look to the older guys for kind of what, what are they feeling? What kind of pressure? How, how are they dealing with things? And I think the older guys kind of do a good job of just it's every other game. Um, it's another season um, and just not making a big deal out of it. What is it like shooting on someone that's not Alex Road? And what does Matthew bring to Matt? Matthew, what do you guys call him? Matthew, um, yeah. Well, yeah. I was like, I don't know what the official. Uh, what does that bring? What does he bring to the clear game? Yeah, I mean, it's it's different. It's hard um, missing Alex. He's my roommate my, my freshman year. So we have a pretty close relationship. And it, it is different. I mean, um, but I think I think Matt um, he exceeded all expectations. Um, I think his his clear I, I think his clear is one of the best attributes of his game. I think he is so smart. He is so poised. It's so hard when you make a save. I wouldn't have any experience, but it makes it, it's pretty hard um, when you make a big save and 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 you get flustered. Um, the ball's in your stick. Um, I think he's really calm. With with him being a freshman, it, it's it's it, it usually comes with experience. I know um, Road had a couple of those issues, um, but I think he's learned from Road. I think even though he wasn't here, I think he watched a lot of film. I think he watched a lot of our games and see, sensed how Road handled himself under pressure, how he handled himself, how he made a big save. Um, so I think Nudes is doing a great job of that. I think he's very, very calm, which is which is hard to find in a goalie. And we've talked before about pressure maybe you felt coming in as a number one player. You talked about how you helped Connor kind of go through that, and now you have Griffin joining the team. What is that? How has he fit into the offense, especially a loaded offense? What kind of advice have you given him as now upperclassman mm -hmm. like in, in dealing with does it affect? Does he think about it? Does he care about it? Mm -hmm. Does anyone else care about it? Any of that good stuff? Yeah, I think it, it goes unsaid, I think. Um, with with Docs coming in as that guy and Conrad, I think they, they look up to you. People look up to you, and 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 it's really good, goes unsaid. And I think I think that's good. A good culture we have here, where you're kind of just play speaks for yourself, um, and and there's no expectations you have, even though you might think that. Um, I think there's no expectations. You come in, everyone's on a clean slate. Um, you fight for playing time, and I think. Um, what I learned from from guys like Kraus and Docs is just how they handle themselves, and I think, I think the big part of it is this 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 defense we have is I, I think it's the best in the nation, and and, and with Cade and Cole and uh, Matsui Bauer, um, I think they're all great defenders, and and I I would say I've gone against a lot of defenders in my in my career here, and I think they're they're up there. I would say they're they're if not the best. Um, so I think that helps with with kind of expectations and pressure because because if you do well in practice if you get stripped by them big deal you're you're a freshman um, you've never been in this level before um, and I think just just working with this team working with this defense um, it, it really um, in general just goes it, it goes hand in hand with with kind of the guys we have here and I think you just look up to the the guy you want to look up to follow what he does um, and, and see how he adapts the pressure um, so yeah Matt, you talked about a couple guys at Lafke and Alex you know, you've done a lot in your obviously a lot of personal achievements sort of what was the motivation to come back for that fifth year yeah I think I really bought into the system here I think as a community um, around UVA I think I think the whole recruiting class our whole recruiting class we came here to, to make a difference and I think um, obviously credit to the to the grades above us that Dave Smith class I think they did a great job of changing the culture here and I think for me right when I found out we could do another year I, I was looking into grad programs right away because I knew I just I, we wanted to just keep going with this um, and I know other guys like Ian and Road that had jobs lined up and kind of their life figured out and I would say I didn't have mine yet um, so I need another year to, to, to uh, take some time and 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 this is the I've talked to a lot of people about coming back to school and what are the effects of kind of overall careers and I think I think everyone says go back to school it's it's the best time of your life and I agree with that and I think I think it's really the culture we built here and we just kind of want to run with it um, and just and just built uh, uh, just a good community around Virginia lacrosse.